Hello everyone and welcome to this video on crude oil and fractional distillation. Now crude oil is a thick black brown liquid which is a mixture of different length hydrocarbon molecules. It's a fossil fuel that has been formed from lots and lots of algae and zooplankton dying and falling to the bottom of the sea. These organisms are trapped under many layers of sand and mud compressed and heated for millions of years eventually forming oil. This oil is then extracted and burnt to generate energy. In itself, crude oil is absolutely useless, but if you have the knowledge of how to separate the hydrocarbon fractions, you can end up with lots of money. So how is it done? Let's use spaghetti as an analogy for crude oil. A mixture of different lengths of spaghetti representing different length hydrocarbons. Now, if I asked you to pick a tiny length of spaghetti out of a bowl, you wouldn't have too much trouble. But if I asked you to pull a very long bit out, you'd struggle because it would get wrapped around the rest and you'd only manage to pick up a large pastry mass. In the same way, it's easy for small hydrocarbons to evaporate, difficult for long ones to evaporate. Why is this? It's this way because there are intermolecular bonds between the polymer molecules, and the longer the molecule, the more bonds form and the higher the boiling and condensing point. The result is a positive correlation between hydrocarbon lengths and boiling and condensation points. Now I'm only showing you up to 12 carbon lengths here, but there are, is a hydrocarbon residue with, with 70 carbons. So key point number one, longer hydrocarbons have higher boiling and condensing points. Here's a fractional distillation column. Oil is pumped in at the bottom at 350 degrees C, so it's in the form of a gas or vapour. As you move up the column, there's a temperature gradient, hot at the bottom and cooler at the top. Different length hydrocarbons or fractions condense at different temperatures. Kerosene, which is used as jet fuel, condenses back to a liquid at 175 to 325 degrees C. At this point in the column, we get the kerosene fraction. Further up the column, at 60 to 100 degrees, we get the naphtha recondensing. So, this is how we turn useless crude oil into gasoline, kerosene, bitumen, diesel, lubricating oils, etc. All of which can be sold for lots of money. And this is why crude oil is sometimes known as black gold, and why wars have been fought over it. Another trend that you need to know about is that the viscosity of the fractions decreases as you move up the column. Gasoline near the top is runny like water, whereas bitumen at the bottom is a thick, gloopy, viscous substance. It's used to lay roads. Also, petrol is volatile, so it ignites easily, but bitumen does not. So there we are, ladies and gents, an extremely quick revision of fractional distillation. Well done for getting to the end. Let's check your understanding with a few questions. Grab yourself a pen and piece of paper, have a go at these questions, and the answers will flash up in a minute. I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much.